Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today I'm ready to be frustrated. I am going to play with AP AMAX 30. What a tank this is. We will talk about this in a second. I rated this tank three stars on the index. Looks like community agrees with me. Remember you can um, vote yourself um, by logging in into the index page. We have our gaming API and we have over 35, 135,000 votes already. And keep this in mind, there is uh, there is merch on sale if you want to check it out feel free to do so 10 days left or so after that it will be closed and thank you very much for taking your time to check the things out okay uh how to describe this vehicle this is one of the most unreliable uh tanks in the game at least for me you should have armor but you don't you should be able to hit your shots in the close range but you don't uh, yeah it's it's kind of frustrating thing and you know what is the funny thing i think the best thing about this tank is the camo that looks very very sexy that looks very good in fact that looks amazing but you know what uh, from the loot boxes you are not getting camo for this tank so uh unfortunate if i can say so um what is also good about this tank apart camo i'm talking about the visuals right um i would say the speed speed wise this vehicle feels very very nice and we definitely cannot complain about this speed wise the tank feels good now Let's see how frustrating the gun handling is going to be because I can promise you that, that this gun is uh, one of a kind where the frustration goes, okay? I can tell you that this is one of a kind gun. Meanwhile, we will take our time to aim fully and we will try to punish the TS-54 and the Tiger one as well. Obviously, in this situation, probably spamming gold would be a tiny touch more appropriate and it would be smarter. So I'm going to load the gold ammunition right there. And now we have a beautiful fight against Progetto. Our mission is to stay hold down and try to punish enemies. Um, obviously, like I said, not the most reliable uh, armor, right? That's okay. He got us in the track. Uh, or I suppose to say he got us in the um, in the commander hatch, which is completely fine. And do not I do not really mind uh, this. Let it be. Meanwhile, another hit into commander hatch. That's okay. We are fine, fellas. We are fine. You know, before before I started today's YouTube video, I looked in this at this tank and I thought, yeah, this is going to be frustrating. Okay. And I can promise you that it will definitely be a humongous frustration. But we are okay, we are big boys, we are going to survive. All we need to do here, we need to wait until Škoda, or I suppose to say Progetto, will make a mistake and he will try to make a bit of pressure and then we are booming and then we are slapping them. This is exactly what we are looking for and this is exactly what we need. Um, quick information, we cannot make hardcore pressure towers the enemies. That is not the smartest choice from our side. So keep this in mind. Although I need to give a credit for this tank, uh, for now gun handling doesn't treat me as bad. I needed to talk. I couldn't. I couldn't embrace it, and I couldn't have a, a great time without saying a single thing. I needed to say. Ka -ka 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 -ka. It's okay. I deserve this, fellas. I deserve this. It's fine. Also, my lovely chocolate just subscribed, and you know what? Um, I'm not streaming. This is a purely uh, video recording, and that is a good timing. I can tell you that. That is a good timing. Okay, how we could do this? Let me think. We have two tanks over there. I hope that our char footer will try to escape from this because otherwise we are sitting in the deep, deep, deep kaku hole. I want to take this hold down position over there and hopefully enemies will try to flank. And if enemies are trying to flank, we can and we will slap them. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, nice. He did not saw that one coming. That is very, very good. That is very, very good. 
We will hit him once again, more likely. Boom, into the track, very good. Even though he hit us over there, it absolutely makes zero difference for us whatsoever. I'm feeling very good, and another shot, good. Now we are just trying to farm as much damage as we physically and possibly can, because death is coming, okay? Death is coming, and there is nothing what we can change about this. So once again... Uh, this is a great start, fellas. Luckily for us, the distance was very, very close um, between us and the enemies. We did not need to snipe that much, which is good. As you can see, I try to play hold down for most of the time, but armor is pathetic. Everyone is shredding you into the face or into cupola, so that is zero bounced. Um, but where the gun handling went this game, I think it was actually kind of fine. I cannot complain that much as I would usually do by playing with MIX. So overall, this is a big fat thumbs up from my side uh, um, where the performance with this tank went, honestly. That is very, very good. So what do we have? Yeah, 4,000 damage, one kill. Um, yeah, I mean, no team, but what can you do about this? Not that much. And we got 101,000 profits. That's good. Round number two, Life Oak Standard Battle. So, fellas, where this tank is shining, at least by, in my opinion, this tank is shining whenever you can play relatively close, right? You can play hold down and you can try to make a small target of yourself as possible. Yeah, sure, you are not going to bounce many shots and this cupola is you know kind of self-explanatory and i'm not if i'm not mistaken most of the higher tiers can simply slap you uh in the turret and can can penetrate you straight so you know if someone is wasting their time by aiming to cupola it's not necessarily bad thing for us and look at the speed speed is actually okay but fellas Trust me on this one, whenever I'm saying that this tank is frustrating as I have to play with. I am not making this up and I am not complaining for no reason whatsoever just to, just to complain. I have better things to do, okay? It's one of those tanks when I thought when it came into the game, I thought it has an extremely good combination of the things. Um, but in the end of the day, it was just a um, frustrating vehicle to play with. This is how we ended up with this tank, at least, um, at least in my opinion, right? And I had plenty of the conversations with people on stream, and looks like I am not only one who is thinking. Oh, who is thinking this way? By the way, okay, Panther was waiting for me. That's fair enough. That is fair play by this guy's side. You know what? I am actually considering. Uh, to push through the middle, but before pushing through the middle, what we want to do, we want to eliminate this uh, Udes. That would be very much appreciated, fellas. Listen, our goal is to eliminate this guy from the game, because whenever he dies, I can go over there and I can try to farm some assisting damage. Because if I will make pressure beforehand, this is going to be quite disgusting. Although, will it be disgusting? You know what? I'm ready to um, take it, risk it for the biscuit, okay? This may be very, very good or maybe very, very bad. It depends on the situation, how the things will go and how many forces are we going to spot here, okay? This is purely risk it for the biscuit. This is purely risk it for the biscuit play, fellas. We got this char footer, char footer, char footer, char footer. Come on, guys. Come on, slap this mother trucker, boys. <coughs> okay, no slapping towards the char footer side, which is kind of sad to be fair with you, but uh, hey, we are trying to do our best. Meanwhile, Udes is trying to play hold down over there. This is not a bad play by this guy. This isn't a bad play by this guy. All I am hoping for at the moment is that our team can slap him, right? Meanwhile, I am just going for a blind shot. I don't need to go for a blind shot. Oh, yo, 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 this gun. Oh, yo, yo, fellas. If you got this vehicle from the... If you got this vehicle from the loot boxes, you are so up for a treat. Woo! I know what to expect, okay? I just simply know what to expect where this time goes. So for me, it's uh, it's more funny than frustrating, right? Does it make sense? Whenever you know that the gun handling isn't the finest, 
whenever you know that the gun handling can be annoying, you know, you are just mentally prepared for this. Speaking of the mentally prepared, uh, boys, I'm not asking too much, but I need your help. Oh, yo, papa. Okay, where this game goes, I do not feel bad about uh, my decision and about my gameplay. I honestly don't feel bad. No, but skill, this performance isn't the greatest. Fellas, whenever you have so many sniper schnitzels over there and over there, and two guys can go through the open field without taking pretty much any damage whatsoever, that is a bit of the problem. That is a bit of the uh, issue, if I can say so, right? But uh, it is how it is. Not much what we can change about this. This is this vehicle performance, and this is what this vehicle is capable of doing to annoy the players right that's okay let's see the score and let's not get too upset this is the tank and in this kind of situation it was unlucky that our team did not aim it's okay and we are back after round two yeah that was quite a journey it wasn't even funny uh, not much what we can change about this. We went for spotting, but uh, we had only pigeon poop on the enemies. Uh, it happens for the best of us, I guess. Um, 1.2 thousand damage, 600 assisting damage. Yeah, that was that was a rough experience, fellas. That was actually very, very rough. Not much what we can change about this. Our team wasn't the greatest. Uh, and honestly, I, don't I do not really regret the play which I made in this game. Let it be. Uh, we made, at least we made 29,000 profits. That is something. One more, one more with AMAXAP 30. Let's do this. Okay, this much making doesn't look bad. El Haluf standard battle. Obviously, we are going to go and play over there. And fingers crossed that enemies won't be as powerful as they were in the couple of the past games. Um... By the way, I've seen a lot of frustration lately that people are losing the games and they are crying. And that is fair enough, right? But what we need to keep in mind, fellas, that uh, um, everyone can have a bad streak. I can have a bad streak. As an example, yesterday I played with Minotaur and I thought I will throw my keyboard through the window. So, you know, it happens for absolutely every and each of us, fellas. There is nothing to be frustrated about. Everyone wants to be a winner, but unfortunately, 15 people at one game are losing, and there is nothing what you can change about this. Okay, we are using our speed to get into position, which is very, very nice, and now we want to punish someone who is crossing like this. And I have no doubts whatsoever that we are going to have someone crossing. At least that's what I am hoping for. We are in position already, that's good. All we need to do, we need to be patient and we need to wait for it. And here you go. That is the first guy who is crossing. Very, very nice. <coughs> very nice. This is exactly what we want to see. Hmm. If there would be no Artas, I would take this position over there. But now, since we have Artas, they are going to slap the living crap out of us. And uh, I think this is uh, way, 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 way too dangerous. Speaking of the danger, let's try to peek like this. That was kind of silly by me. Let it be definitely far away from being ideal trade, right? Although we have a Rene Cupola somewhere over there. So let's try to punish Rene into Cupola. Beautiful shot. I think this should be a punishment towards the enemy side. That's good. This is what we need, fellas. Step by step, little by little, without panicking too much, we are just simply waiting until enemies will get involved. And believe me, they will. It is a matter of the time. We have plenty of the forces sitting here. The worst part of all of this probably is that um, two guys are holding four guns, but it is how it is. Not much what we can change about that, I guess. Huh. I mean, maybe potentially I would be able to say hello for, uh, for the guy sitting here, but I need to relocate like this. You know what? Let's load some gold. Ooh, boy. Okay, okay, I see, I see, fellas, I see how the things are looking like here, I see. Hmm, the other fed is waiting here around the corner, that's okay. Can we punish him? This is the question. Now only Rene 
is holding four guns. Okay, that makes sense, and I can see that. D29, Dede Fede. I think what we are going to do, we are going to say hello for Mr. Centurion. I think this is the proper way to play this game. Good, Centurion made a humongous mistake. That's it. Now we are playing and now we are booming. All we need to do, we need to eliminate this gentleman. And trust me on this one, he is sitting in the deep, deep, deep Kaku Hall. Meanwhile, our Iron Army is pushing in front. That means we can join him. And we are going to prioritize the autoloader for obvious reasons, right? He's just significantly more dangerous tank than uh, the T-29 is. I, our Iron Army got punished by the Artus, that is alright. Not much what we can change about this. And I am just simply trading here. Good, one of the more dangerous tanks got eliminated. That's very, very nice. And we see TVP Vato with a skill camo trying to slap me. That is mean. I saw what you were about to do, TVP Vato. I saw what you were about to do, you mother trucker. He's going to pick here again, will he? Okay, tracking shot, actually he is dead, excellent, very, 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 very good. So where this game goes, since the distance is relatively close, since I spammed quite a lot of the gold ammunition, it did not felt like a nightmare and it did not felt like the worst uh, game in the world of tanks. So that is something and that is actually quite nice. I am feeling alright. Our team should be able to eliminate the Edefede from the game without bigger problems. And now all we need to do, we need to get involved here and we need to provide our team with ice and assisting damage. Right? That's what we need. That's what we need, fellas. Let's see. Tiger P is sitting somewhere over there. TVP Vato is running away. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, my man. I did not want to violate your... Uh, uh, your beautiful camo, I sincerely apologize, mate. My bad. But, you know, in this situation, we had no other choice. We needed to do what we needed to do, and uh, that's what we did. Okay, nice. Tuner Emil is dead. And we will keep making pressure here. I know how dangerous that is because of the Artas. I am very, very well aware of that. And I'm dead. Yeah, I should have expected that Arta will slap the living crap out of me. Nevertheless, this is not a bad game, fellas. Nevertheless, this is not a bad game. So, this game probably describes everything real good. You want to be in the close distance and you do not really want to trade in a bad way. You kind of want enemies to shoot someone else. And after that, you are going to have a great time by quickly peeking, uh, slapping enemy and escaping, right? The biggest selling point of this tank, in my opinion, is speed. Nothing more than that. Um, and overall, you know, gun is the biggest um, thing what is messing this tank up to the maximum level, at least in my opinion. Anyways, let's see what is our performance after this game and after three games. Okay, and we are back. 3.3 thousand damage, 400 assisting damage. I feel actually pretty good with the game one and game three. That was very, very, very good for this tank. The um, round number two was a bit of the issue, but what can you do? Anyways, we made 139,000 profits, although 50,000 profits comes from the uh, missions, right? Or completing the mission, that is okay. Overall, our performance with this tank is 2.8 thousand damage and 300 assisting damage. Do I feel bad about this? Absolutely not. I actually feel pretty nice and I think we played we played overall the game okay. Um, well, maybe apart the second game. Second game w w could be significantly better, but who could know that we have no team, right? It happens for the best of us. So that's what I have for you today with the mics um, AP30. I would recommend to avoid this vehicle and only one selling bit of this tank is the speed that's it uh, other than that the tank is just simply a frustration machine and nothing more than that anyways thank you very much for watching and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace